Hi, I'm Katie. And I'm Deanna. And today we're going to show you how to make homemade chocolate berry truffles. The first ingredient you'll need is chocolate chips. We chose white and dark. The next thing you need is heavy whipping cream. After that, you'll need berry preserves and berry syrup. The last thing you'll need is powdered sugar. The tools you'll need is a double boiler, mixing spoons, and measuring cups. Okay, the first thing you'll need to do is fill your double boiler with water a little less than halfway. And once you've done that, you'll put the top portion of the double boiler on and pour your chocolate chips in. Once you have the top portion on, you'll want to put the chocolate chips in. And then turn the heat of the stove on about to medium high. If you don't have a non-stick double boiler and you're scared of the chocolate chips sticking to the bottom and burning, you can put a little bit of the heavy whipping cream in ahead. Round a bit just so it's not all in one area. You want to occasionally stir while the chocolate's melting just so it doesn't get clumps in it. Once the chocolate's melted enough to stir, you'll want to put in the rest of the heavy whipping cream. It should be anywhere from one half to cup to three quarters cup per 12 ounces of chocolate chips, depending on how creamy you want your truffles. Once you've poured the milk in, you'll want to stir it until you get a nice, even color. You can cut out now. I don't think they need to see me stir. Once you've stirred the berries to a nice, even color, you'll want to put the berry jam in it, or berries. You've chosen blackberry, or marionberry as it's called. You can put in anywhere from one spoonful to three if you really like, but we're only putting in two. Once you put the jam in, you'll want to stir it to make sure you don't get any clumps and all the chocolate has berry flavor. Mixing everything in, you'll want to put the chocolate from the double boiler into a bowl so you can cool it off in the fridge. Once you've got all the chocolate into a bowl, you'll want to put it into the fridge for two to four hours to cool. You don't have to worry about covering the chocolate unless you're going to leave it in there for longer, otherwise it's okay. Once the chocolate has cooled off enough to touch your handle, you want to roll it in the balls like this. First thing to do is use a spoon and get some out of the bowl. Once you've rolled all your balls, you want to drizzle the raspberry syrup on. You can use anything to do so, but we're going to use a teaspoon. Now let's watch for two hours while she dances.